Hey, Brewers. Friday again. Here I am with you. Hope you're not getting sick of me because I love coming here for you. Look at all these random little baggies of weird stuff. Another drugs video? No. Today, we're going to look at the difference. I got nine different types of sugar. Well, including Skittles because I bought a shit ton of Skittles and they got, they got sugar in them too. So eight different actual sugars that we would normally use and some Skittles. Then we're going to dose nine different bottles with uh, this Blood Alley Lager that I've made and just see if we can discern any difference, if there's gonna be any difference in color, flavor, any of that fun stuff. So what do we have here today? We've got our Simplicity Belgian Candy Syrup. I've got Coconut Palm Sugar, Dark Brown Sugar, Cane Sugar, Demerara Brown Sugar, Golden Yellow Sugar, Turbinado, of course Skittles, and of course our Lord and Savior Dextrose. So I'm going to be weighing three grams of all of these, which weeks out, equals out to a four Skittles, based on my calculations, and then six grams of the candy syrup, because apparently, according to uh, the priming sugar calculators I was looking at, we need more of this. So, I'm just gonna weigh out three grams into each bottle here. Starting with the coconut palm. Right here. And then we're gonna fill them up, cap them off, and uh, then we'll see you in a couple weeks after they've carved and cleared. This is more of a pain in the butt than I thought it was gonna be. All right. Kev, there's some PET caps in the uh, office. You mind grabbing those? Let's grab it. Yep. Oh boy. Ah, shit. Ah, sorry, I'm gonna grab the paper towel. That did not go as planned. No, because that's already. Wow, really don't need much. Six grams, all right. I am just sticky as shit now. A wet one, sweet. My nine bottle, look at those Skittles, that looks cool. All sanitized, all ready to go. So now, we open up the magic box. Where's my star sand? So I'm just gonna pull the airlock just a little bit so we're not sucking that. Little bit of oxygen's not gonna kill this beer. Star sand in there. Here we go. One. We have a similar amount of headspace.
Okay, put our airlock back in. Oh. Boom, and there you have it. I used clear bottles. We're not gonna let them get sunstruck. We'll see you in about two weeks for the tasting. See if we have any. I'm going to give them a little shake before I put them away, but that's it. That's all until we taste them. We don't know what's going to happen. We're going to guess the Skittles one's going to be weird if it carbonates at all. Two weeks later. And it's time to test if all these different sugars actually make a lick of difference as far as bottle conditioning from, you know, your, our Lord and Savior Dextrose. Right here, me and Kevin, we've got, this is our... Force carb one, so no sugar, no bottle conditioning, beautiful clarity, nice deep amber. Um, I was trying to clone a beer called Blood Alley Bitter. I wanted to make a name that was kind of similar, just so it would kind of, you know, give an homage to that, but everything I could think of just sounded like menstrual jokes, and I know I kind of <laughs> come across probably a little misogynistic as it is. So, Blood Alley Bitter, it's right here. Um, cheers. Cheers. First little sippy poo of that. I also did it as a lager, whereas Blood Alley Bitter is an ale, but uh, not quite as bitter as I would like. You know, still, we're not, it's not really about the recipe, but this is our control. This is what I had ready for priming sugar at the time. I'd like to up the hops a little bit, etc., etc. but I digress. So, we've got dextrose. Everybody knows that one. We've got Belgian candy syrup, coconut palm, demerara brown sugar, cane sugar, turbinado sugar, dark brown sugar, golden yellow, and I had some Skittles kicking around. So we tossed some of that shit in there too. We'll do that one last. All right, so let's start with our decks. Kevin, you ready? Sure am. All right, first step, did it carbonate? Sure did. Sure it's carbonated. All right. Kind of a little bit of a delightful, a little bit more carbonation than yeah. this. Little bit of a sweetness, not as much of a bite on the dark malts as the control. Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's more pleasant. Which usually, you know, this is why we do this, to learn things, because usually I'm like, bottle conditioning, ah, I'd rather keg my stuff, but uh, <laughs> that was a pleasant surprise. Yeah. What's up next? Belgian candy syrup. Okay, a little sip of the control, if you will. Wow, I can't get over how different they really are. That's yeah, the bitterness comes way through like way more on the Yeah. Way. Okay, so we heard a little hissy poo. The candy sugar definitely went for us. Hmm. So this one a little bit um, a little bit more boozy, a little sharper. Okay. Okay. Like that okay. candy syrup really um, kind of brought out that, you know, when you're drinking like a double or a triple, that kind of boozy note. Wonder if it comes from candy syrup because that's kind of what I'm getting there. And this beer is only 5%. Interesting. Interesting. You know, I wasn't <laughs> super sure we were gonna detect a lot of difference here. So far, quite a bit. I'll definitely take the dextrose over the candy syrup on that one. What do we have up next? Coconut palm sugar. I would imagine we're gonna get something out of this. <laughs> Cleanse the old palate. Oh, that's our nicest yet. And we put the exact same amount in everything. Even the Skittles, I weighed them out. A little more carbonation. Not really getting any coconut though. Hmm, we might have to do a shootout at the end of this. Which one's our favorite? So far, candy syrup. No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mind that one, but yeah, no, no coconut at all. No really. coconut at all. I thought for sure we'd get a little something, a little something, something. I kind of dig this one actually. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, little control sip. All right, now we got Demerara brown sugar. I don't even know what the deal is with this. I don't even, what is that? It's sugar. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. Yeah, I went to the place and there was just all these sugars, so I just bought them all. Okay. Not quite sure on the history. If anybody knows anything about fucking sugar, send it on. Okay. Oh, I didn't listen for the hiss. I, God damn it, Brad. Throw it You're out. it up. All right. Well, there definitely must have been one because we got some carbonation. Seems a bit lower carbonation than the coconut palm and the dextrose. This one is just kind of like 
kind of smooth. Yep. It is different though, but it, it's got a little je ne sais quoi, but it's still not, I'm not going to put it in the top two. Because it's brown sugar, I was expecting it to maybe be a little bit more molasses-y, mm -hmm. but not really. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think, I think top two is still dextrose and coconut, eh? Yeah. All right. Up next, cane sugar. So that was, uh, that was a little weak. That was barely any <laughs> barely any barely any head coming up. Wonder if cane sugar has less fermentables per gram or whatever per parts per million than refined sugars. Decent little mouthfeel. Terrible carbonation. I mean, it's not. These these differences are all pretty subtle. Keep in mind, we're pro drinkers. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just not, kind it's of definitely like, not very fizzy. Yeah, so a little flat. Didn't get quite the fizz. It's eh. I like the way it tastes, yeah. but like, did a shit job of carbonating. <laughs> yeah, like, get your shit together, King Shooter. Sure. Like, <laughs> it's almost got like a bit of a toffee kind of thing going yeah. on. Yeah. So, yeah, taste wise, I like it, but. I'll keep it, keep it in there. Won't put it in the reject pile just yet. <laughs> All right, turbinado sugar. Same thing, I researched these sugars, none. I went to the place and bought all the sugars in the room. Okay, so I just get they're all so different from the keg condition one. Oh, completely. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I probably should have done this with Skulls Light, but I didn't have any ready when I had the idea. So there you go. Next time. So we definitely got some hiss. We definitely got good clarity out of this one. It's got a bit of more of a thick mouthfeel, almost like nitro. Almost. Yeah, yeah, like flavors, flavors good. Nothing, Nothing really crazy. sticks out to me. It's like a little heavier on the tongue. Right? Yeah, a little, almost like, feels like it's actually gone from like a light body to a medium body hmm. somehow. Very interesting. Neat. All right, well, I still like that one. <laughs> okay, Brad, you got to knock some off the fucking list. Uh, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. Control, control. <clears throat> Throw yourself. Uh, what's next? Dark brown sugar as opposed to regular brown. Did it affect the color at all? Doesn't really seem to have. Let's look at, I mean, it's kind of hard to, looks pretty similar. I mean, we did keep these in clear bottles in the dark, so we're not dealing with any skunkiness. Let's look at it compared to, oh yeah, the dark brown. Maybe compared to the dextrose would be. Oh yeah, compared to the demerara brown. It looks pretty. It's about the same. Yeah, I'd say the dark brown maybe has a little bit more clarity, but color's the same. I mean, when you think it's like two grams of sugar in this whole thing, so. Yeah, I guess. Can't really have an insane effect. Pardon me. All right, we got a swish. This one definitely seems to me to have a little, little bit more of that molasses y thing going on. Yeah. I mean, again, it's oh, marginal. Like, like, we're talking, these these are not huge amounts here. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's my mm -hmm. favorite. No. It's kind of it's kind of gone over the top. Like, I like my stuff a little bit more bitter. Like, I feel like this one maybe affected the flavor one of the most. Yeah, I'm not really getting much bitter out of that one. I, mean, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. All right, brown sugar. How come you taste so good, yeah? I don't know, man. I don't know. Rolling Stones, I don't think you know anything about brown sugar. All right, control. <laughs> all right, golden yeller, old yeller. And then finally, I know you're all waiting for the spring, for the Skittles. It looks like a hazy mess. And there's like chunks of stuff. Um, we're gonna drink it, but uh, <clears throat> I don't have high hopes at all. Anyway, back to the golden yellow, last, second last, but not second least, I hope. Oh yeah. I like the mouthfeel thing, but I'm getting a similar similar booziness that I got to the Belgian candy syrup. Yeah, it's got a weird thing on the back of the tongue. Of the yeah, like at first I was like, ooh, we got a contender. <laughs> but now you're going in this pile, bud. Sorry <laughs> to tell you. Carbonate, nice carbonation, but nope. All right, and now 
the one you've all been waiting for, the one that had I not went to Bulk Barn and saw 50 pounds of Skittles and couldn't help myself, wouldn't even be part of this experiment. I'm excited. I mean, I, I love Skittles. This guy pretty much here. survives on Skittles. Skittles um, and beers, like most Skittles of my diet. Beer. So. Skittles and beers and beers and beers. So, you know, this is both in one. <laughs> all right, control. Control yourself, Kevin. I know mm. you can't wait for the Skittles. Man, after all these bottle condition ones, I don't even want this one anymore. That's crazy. But yeah, look, number one, our uh, our sediment is kind of weirdly pinkish, orangish, bluish. Kind of, you know, Jeff one there. And we got some... Uh, there's a lot of floaties. There's a lot of floaties um, in there, which um, is undesirable. I don't know if there's a style of beer where floaties is something you're after. Um, hey, man, we're inventing a new style here. Fucking Skittlebrow. I'm feeling kind of low up, who? Got any of that beer that has candy floating in it? You know, Skittlebrow? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it did carbonate it. Uh-oh. Did it over-carbonate oh. it? Whoa. Look at that. Interesting. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at that blubber fly. Whoa. Oh, oh it's okay. gonna go. Oh shit. Oh, it smells good though. <laughs> smell it. Oh, buddy. You smell the Skittles in there. I'm serious. I'm Sirs right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate to say it, I can't. It looks like shit, but man. This is some good shit right here. <laughs> Might be on to something. Yeah, I think for the down here from now beer, we're gonna put some Skittles in that shit too. Why not? <laughs> I think we got a new video. Next video, 50% of the grist, Skittles. <laughs> Cause yeah, you know. Like, she ain't pretty, but you could take her home. <laughs> See, misogyny. Yeah. Oh, buddy. Yeah. That's my shit right there. I'm pretty sure, did I pick like three red ones or did I go like, I can't remember. We'll have to look back at the footage from two weeks ago. Yeah, see what flavors are in there? Because I think I picked three of one color. Oh, well then just give me a six pack and a couple of bags of Skittles. Oh, there's another breakdown. We can just do all Skittles. Oh, shoot out of each Skittle. Yeah. Oh, man. What is the best Skittle to carbonate your beer with? Because, like, we're not even going to go back to the shootout. Like, this is the f***ing one. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you. Yeah, it's delicious. I uh... Like, this just fixed. I was like, man, about this beer, but not the Skittles in it. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> <laughs> did we learn something? We sure f***ing did. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and don't forget, put some Skittles in your beer. <laughs>